All right, all right, let's jump straight into it. Oof, that's beautiful. Let me actually play it on its own without any processing done to it. So it's a loop that I found on Looper, man. Y'all already know that's my favorite spot to get loops. It's free of charge and it sounds good. All right, so without any processing, the guitar sounds like this. And then I added a uh, EQ just to take some of the low end out and also a little bit of the boxiness in the mid range and then added some boost in the high end and it sounds like this and then i added a reverb i tell you slap the silver verb on anything and it sounds good it sounds like this That's good. And then I added a tape delay. I just know tape delays work really good on guitars. It's like they're sticky. It's like a sticky delay. And it sounds like this. If you want to hear what the tape delay is doing, listen to the tail of the sound. So at the end, you'll hear the guitar is going like, pa pa pa. That's the tail. That's what the tape delay does. It sort of like acts on the tail end. At least that's what I think it does. That's how I hear it. So listen to how that sounds. Beautiful. So that's the guitar. Now that we got that loop sounding exactly how we wanted the sound, next thing I did is add the electric piano. Y'all already know how this formula goes. And the electric piano on its own sounds like this. without any effects on it, it sounds like this. So first things first, channel EQ, just to take some of that low end out, boost a little mid and upper mid, and it sounds like this. And then tape delay, and that sounds like this. I don't even know if it's doing anything, but could be a placebo effect. Anyway, I leave that on. And then I added this uh, stereo spreader just to widen the stereo of it. And it sounds like this. And then I slapped that silver verb on it and it sounds like this. And then the next thing I did is I added this acoustic guitar. Again, it comes with logic, so I'll just play it straight in the mix. It sounds like this. Pretty nice. And then from here, I've got the sample, the guitar sample, e-piano, and then the classic guitar, and then I started adding the drums. So first, let me just play where we're at right now. It sounds like this. Nice. 
be honest, I think, I think the next thing that I actually added were the vocals. Yup, that's true. I added the vocals and they'll sound like this. I'll just play them straight in the mix so y'all can hear it. Nice. And then I think I have a different vocal chop over here. Let's hear how that sounds. Well, it's not a vocal chop, it's a saxophone. And I'm going to play it again. It sounds like this. All right. And then I started adding the drums once I was satisfied with that. So let's play it from here. I'm pretty sure I started off with like the rim and that sounds like this. And then I added a perk. Another perk. And then a shaker. And then another shaker. And then the hi hat. And then a uh, open hat. I might have lost the open hat. We'll ignore it for now. And then I added a conga. And then a the kick. If you've been watching my uh, tutorials for a minute, you'll notice that I love adding the lower end stuff in last because they kind of drive the instrumentals. And so I kind of like to delay the gratification of feeling that feeling until a later stage in the remaking process. So in this case, I only bring in the kick once I've done all the other percussive sounds and it sounds like this. As you can tell, it brings a lot of closure. And from here, you can feel it. You can sense it that the only thing that's missing is the bass. So we bring in the bass and it sounds like this. And for the bass, y'all already know, I just keep it simple. Inside of the presets that come with Logic Pro X, inside of the bass, there's a preset called Subby Bass. I just use that. I changed the mode to Legato, added a glide at 42 milliseconds, and I changed the polyphony to one so that it can do woo, that sort of vibe. And I think maybe at one point I might have kind of used that here, I think. And it should sound something, oh, well, not really, but this part is a bit of a bass switch up and that sounds like this. And that's pretty much the beat, to be honest with y'all. So let me play it. Oh, damn. That is the entire beat. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, okay. Well, in that case, it's been good, my people. It's your boy Aleko. Until next time, this is the full beat. Enjoy it. Download it. There's a link in the description. Just don't forget to subscribe, share it, and hit that bell notification. Until next time, it's been good. It's your boy Aleko. I love y'all.